In this video, we're talking about common toys like balls and frisbees that we use with our dogs in play. You're going to get some tips on how to use them safely and you're going to understand some of the problems that you can get from them if you don't use them properly so you can avoid them. My name's Nikhil and welcome to Canine Care Obedience Training. You ready? Ready? Catch it! Good job! Let's go! Dogs are natural born chasers. They can chase any number of things. Can be a ball, can be a frisbee, could even be a stick. Sticks are dangerous by the way, so be careful with those. Whatever you use with your dog, it's most important that you don't overuse it. If you're gonna throw a ball like this, don't throw it too far. When dogs are catching up with balls moving at full tilt, they suddenly break and change direction. This puts a lot of unnecessary stress on their musculoskeletal systems. Frisbees, throw them low, throw them level, and don't throw them too far. Dogs can be jumping up to get frisbees and get themselves in real pickles. No matter which of these toys you decide to use with your dogs, the balls or the frisbees, there are some words of caution. There are three main problems that you get from using toys too much. The first one is injuries, the second one is obsessiveness, and the third one is desocialization. Let's talk injuries first because they're expensive and they're debilitating for your dog, so you're best avoiding them. To understand about injuries, you need to understand a little bit about a dog's skeletal structure and their biomechanics. Uh, this, by the way, is uh, my assistant, Bugsy. He's come to help out today. Haven't you, Bugsy? Yes, I have. He's really good. He's a stunt dog. He's been with me for a few years. He hangs around in my videos, but sometimes he's got a bit of propensity to fall off my shoulder. Bugsy, you all right? Come on, mate. You all right? I hurt my head. Oh, you'll be fine, mate. You'll be fine. Okay, dog anatomy 101. Head, body, tail, back legs, front legs. No, but seriously, there are over 319 bones in a dog's body. Actually, it's between 319 to 321. And it all depends on one factor. And that is the simple thing, the length of the tail. Weight distribution is 60-40. 60% on the front legs, 40% on the back legs. The front legs act like brakes, the back legs are a propulsion system. They get your dog to move forward, these guys get your dog to break. Don't they, Bogsy? Yes, I do. Isn't he great? The humble tennis ball, ubiquitous with all dogs and owners as an absolute must have. But there's a problem with them. They crack and they break. Dogs will chew them up into these small pieces which can be ingested and become a real hazard and a very expensive thing to fix. So don't use those, not good. Much better alternative is a red rubber ball like this one. I'm not sponsoring any brands here, but these are chew resistant and highly durable and a much better alternative. Frisbees can be great fun, but you've got to use them wisely. These are dog friendly frisbees. Don't use the human ones, they're made of hard plastic and they cut gums and lips and that sort of stuff when they crack. These are soft, specially designed for dogs. But like all toys like this, they need to be used with caution. One of the problems by using balls too much with young dogs, especially working dogs, border collies, kelpies, is that they stop interacting with other dogs. I don't know if you can see in the background here, there's a family, they've got their border collie, they've got the ball thrower, and the dog is not interacting with Shanty whatsoever. So keep your dog social. Don't let them become obsessed by things like balls. It's not healthy for them. 
One of the other aspects of desocialisation with dogs that are too obsessed around bulls is they can get quite aggressive when other dogs approach them and they have their bull. They can resource guard, they can be very aggressive, they can even, even attack dogs. So best not to let your dogs become too bull obsessed and too desocialised. Let dogs be dogs. Let dogs hang out with other dogs and have a good time with each other. There are a ton of things that you can use as alternatives to balls and frisbees. What these things all have in common is you can throw them, they don't go too far and they don't bounce. So your dog's not getting their full tilt and hurting themselves suddenly stopping or turning or whatever they're doing. So these things are really good fun. I hope you found this video useful guys. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment, check out other videos on my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time around. Thanks for watching, see ya.